Hello and welcome to another Tech Radar Talks and this time we're talking about the big phones coming out this month which include the Galaxy S6, the Galaxy S6 Edge yep. and the HTC One M9. M9, <laughs> yeah. So which one are you most excited about out of those three? Uh, personally the S6 Edge is my really interesting one. It's doing something a bit different. The curved display I think is really interesting. Yep. Um, just purely because it's doing something a bit unique and a bit, a bit wacky. and. Well, you say, I, would have, I would have said yes to that about three days ago, but we've just got the yeah. phones in for review, and uh, John McCann's currently putting through its paces, mm. and it doesn't seem to add a lot, does it, the, no. the, edge, the edge screen? I mean, the Galaxy Note Edge, it had some really cool bits, you yeah. know, it had the fact that you could, it's a ruler, who doesn't need that on a phone? Uh, you know, you could really get some more information yeah. as a separate screen. This is just kind of there for aesthetics, isn't it? Pretty much, and there's like, there's the odd app, so like there's the, there's the clock, so you can have it as a bedside clock on the side of the table, yeah. and then you can like bring in your messages and that kind of stuff. But like experimenting with it, you get less of a preview of what the message says than when you actually just tap on the normal yeah. app on the actual screen. And it's so a, it's a hundred pounds yeah. extra on top. I think it's a bit more than that. I think, yeah, it's like yeah. 140 or something extra, which is okay. just crazy, isn't it? So yeah. April 10th is when both those phones come out. Yep. Which one do you think people should be getting then? Do you think, do you think uh, that even, even still, even though it's not really got that much functionality, mm. do you think the Edge is still actually a phone that's got that aesthetic difference? I still, even knowing that, I still hold it and go, this looks a lot yeah. nicer. And you get it out at the pub or something and everyone's just going to be like, whoa, what's that kind of thing? Yeah. It's that kind of... And maybe that, 10 minutes later kind of it's gone, but you know. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think, personally, I still think the Edge and that kind of thing is still trying to do something a bit different, yeah. but the S6 is still a great phone as well, it seems. True. And I think uh, the problem that the Galaxy is still have is TouchWiz. Uh, yeah. It's a problem in terms of subjectivity. I think people don't really like TouchWiz, some people out there. It's mm. not a bad OS. Oh, sorry, your eye on top of the OS. But yeah. I still think it's kind of the problem people have. So with that, you've got the One M9 that's coming in a couple of days' time, you know, March 30th. Yep. Actually, March, right now, actually, isn't it? So, yep. um, so do you think that's a phone people should be looking at? They should be thinking, you're right, this is a gorgeous device. It's the one we should be looking for now. It's still a really good phone. Like the M8 was a fantastic phone, but when you did the review yourself, you know that it's not that different. There's a few design changes and that kind of stuff. You, yeah, you it, seem to think the camera's not even as good well, I, I, as last time. But. We, we had the review unit for a little while, actually, and it turns out that the, the camera initially was awful. There was yeah. no problems with it. HTC did a big lot of work to kind of Took that feedback and really improved the camera quite a lot. It's actually now mm. a decent, a decent snapper. Problem is, it's nothing major. It's, yeah. it's essentially the same as the best out there. Because they really. nailed it last time. I think they really struggled to actually yeah. find yeah. something to improve. There was no headroom on the One M9 really to yeah. go through. So I think the problem was that it, it's iterative. It's, yeah. it's more than an S. It's better than the iPhone 6S is likely to be later this yeah. year. It's more of a jump forward that way. But the battery's worse. So I think ultimately. Mm. That's, that, that's a real problem for the phone. It's still a great device, but look back at the M8 as a, as a decent device. Yeah, definitely. So that's today's Tech Radar Talks. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've decided which phone is for you this month. <laughs>